year, especially this piece because it's not so well known. So um, this is by a Viennese composer named Anton Eberl, who was a contemporary of Mozart. So Eberl's dates are 1765, and he died in 1807, whereas Mozart was 1756 to 1791. <coughs> so not only was he a contemporary of Mozart, but um, his music sounded remarkably similar to Mozart's, so much so that um, during his life and afterwards, there were several unscrupulous compo uh, sorry, publishers who would take his works, Anton Eberl's works, and put Mozart's name on them and sell them. So, <clears throat> it, you know, you can imagine it took scholars quite a while to figure that one out afterwards. But um, anyway, Anton Eberl was one of those composers who is, um, was greatly esteemed during his lifetime, but, you know, then disappeared from the scene. And so, just to give you an example, his third symphony was premiered on the same concert as the premiere of Beethoven's Third Symphony. They both happen to be in the key of E flat. And <clears throat> the next day when the critics' reviews came in, the critics actually preferred Everill's work to Beethoven's. So um, the last thing I'll, I'll point out is that Everill was a pianist. And so, you know, it's, I think it's significant that the title of this piece is just Sonata. It's not clarinet sonata or piano sonata, it's just sonata. And so I think what you'll find here is that it isn't a piece where, you know, the piano is just the company and the clarinet, because it's, it's really both. The, you know, at times the piano will accompany me and at other times I'll accompany Natasha. So, um, so it's kind of more an even, an even collaboration. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it.